In this episode, we'll look at some of the basic building blocks of photography, line, shape, and form. Autorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. It's brought to you by Adorama. It's the store that has everything for photographers, videographers, and even audio engineers. Check them out at Adorama.com. Well, I'm coming to you from beautiful Lake Titicaca. I am on the Bolivian side of the lake. And earlier I was shooting some photos and I posted those to Facebook. And a few of these photos, people said, hey, how did you make these look so three-dimensional? I feel like I'm being pulled into the photo. Well, that's what we're gonna talk about in this episode of Exploring Photography. Now, I did that using some of the building blocks of photography. You know, if you built a house, you would use some materials like steel or wood or bricks. And those are the basic building blocks of your house. When we talk about photography, we also have some basic building blocks, but we call them the elements of composition. And they are things like line, shape, form, texture, pattern, unusual point of view, the rule of thirds, things like that. Well, in this episode, I wanna to talk to you specifically about three of the elements of composition, line, shape, and form. Let's begin by talking about line. Line is really a point that continues. It implies motion. Lines are open and they lead our eyes into a photograph or they might be in a photograph they lead our eyes to an interesting part of that photograph. We're going to talk a little bit more about that later on. Well shape is a closed shape and as the name implies it's a shape of something and it doesn't matter if it's a bird or a tree or a plane. It is a two-dimensional representation of something. It's a shape. Now when shape takes on three dimensions that's called form. And form is, as I just said, it's a three-dimensional thing in your photograph, and that's created by shadows and highlights. Now, all of this stuff really has to do with your light and your camera in relationship to the position of that light. And so to understand all of this stuff better, I have this little animation. So let's take a dive and take a closer look at all of this stuff right now. Let's say that we have a subject, a light, and a camera. Now, we're looking at these from the top down. When the light is behind our subject, that creates backlight. Backlight creates silhouettes. Silhouettes are two-dimensional and they are shapes. When our light moves to the side or front of our subject, that creates shadows and highlights and that gives our subject form. It's important to note that we can change the light from backlight to front light by moving the light, which we just did, or we can move our camera. If our light stays in the same location, but our camera moves, we get the same effect. Let's move on and take a look at this shape. We can easily recognize this as the shape of a soda can. It's just a two-dimensional shape because the light is coming from behind our subject. But when our light moves to the side, the can begins to take on three dimensions, and we call that form. Form is created by the shadows and highlights, and as the light moves, the shadows and highlights change. But remember, we can also change the shadows and highlights by moving our camera in relationship to our light. So let's leave our light in the same position and move our camera. We get the same result. We went from form back to shape. All right, well now that we know a little bit more about line, shape, and form, let's take a look at a few photos to understand these basic building blocks a little bit better. Let's begin by looking at this rudimentary drawing of some lines. Notice how these lines go to a single vanishing point and that draws our eyes into the scene. Well, I didn't just make up these lines. These are actually from this photograph. And this technique is used by painters where you have a single vanishing point. Things in the foreground are larger than the things in the background. And that's what's called perspective. Renaissance painters invented this a long time ago, but we can still use that for our photographs. We also have a different type of line and that's an implied line. So we look at this sign here that I shot in the Bahamas. And if we look closely at the signs on the left, you can see that these implied lines bring us into the photograph toward the right. Now this photo, I don't think is a very good photo at all, but these strong leading lines in the front that also show us perspective, tell us that the stairs in the background have some depth. But when I zoomed in with my long lens and took a picture, converted it to black and white of those stairs, we lost all of that form and we lost all of that depth. But this image is very strong in pattern and line. Next, let's talk about shape. Here we have a very cliche photo of a sunset. We have these black objects floating in the sky. Now we know that these are birds and that's sort of what shape is. It's a two-dimensional object that we instantly recognize as something familiar. 
Let's take a look at this shot. I went swimming with my friend Lex in the Bahamas and we were able to swim with sharks. Now these sharks were at the very bottom of the ocean and this photo you can see that these are clearly sharks and a trained professional diver making sure everything was going correct. Now when those sharks came to the surface they caught the light and that gave them form with the shadows and highlights from the sun close to the top of the surface. Well, sometimes you have an image that has both form and shape. This image has the form of the rocks. We have nice so uh, side light. We have highlights and shadows and blacks that are perfect. And then up toward the top left, we have the shape of some trees. So sometimes you have images that have both things. Now here's an image that I shot for last week's episode. It's an ornamental on a church door. Now we have blacks that are absolutely black, great specular highlights, and nice side light. And then that gives this great form. Now here's another shot that I took in Phoenix, Arizona of a very specular, shiny trailer. Now that all those reflections give this trailer form and I used a wide angle lens and that exaggerates the perspective and that makes this look even more three-dimensional. Here's another shot of a cigar. Now if I would have shot this with the camera on axis with the light, the cigar would have been very flat. We wouldn't have seen the form, but with the side light, we see the shadows on the right side of the cigar, the highlights on the left, and that really gives this some dimension. Now, once again, sometimes we have images with two different elements of composition. This one has the form in the building because of the strong side light, but it also has some really strong lines leading us through the image. And here are the images that we began with. This reed boat was shot with a wide angle lens, which really exaggerates the perspective and the strong side light that's very hard exaggerates the form of the boat. Now this boat I like better. We have a wide angle lens. Again, it's exaggerated perspective. We've got great form with the shadows on the side of the boat and the highlights on the top. We've got lines leading us into this image. And because we have exaggerated perspective, it looks even more three dimensional. Line, shape, and form are tools that you can use to create more interesting photographs. So put them to use in your photography today. Well, I want to remind you that the Adorama Learning Center has a lot of supplemental materials about this topic specifically. In fact, we've added some links here at the bottom of this video that you can click to see more about shape and form and lighting and all kinds of stuff. So check that out. I also want to remind you that Adorama is running a contest right now. You can enter and win some great prizes. So enter today. Just click the link. That's all there is to it. Well, thanks again for joining me and I will see you again next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.